Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we're going to proceed with 6.3 Image form by lenses or image formation by lenses. So we already learned about uh, total internal reflection and refraction. Okay, so we're going to apply in lenses. Okay, first of all, what is lens? Okay, lens kanta. Okay, means macam kita pakai kanta mata. Okay, our spectacle or contact lenses. Okay, so means cahaya boleh tembus. So it's made from transparent, okay, transparent material. So either it's a plastic or glasses, okay, where the light can pass through. So light can be refracted. Okay, so here we're going to learn two types of lenses, which is convex and concave. Okay, convex cembung. Konkif cekung Apa yang cembung Apa yang cekung So to form a lens Salah satu permukaan dia Mesti cembung Or cekung Mesti curve Okay One of the surface Or both surfaces Must be curve Mesti dah lengkung So you ambil satu camcah Sudu So you tengok yang belakang camcah tu Itu cembung ha, Yang kot sini Kot tempat kita sort makan Bubur makanan tu Satu Cekung, concave So, apa beza concave and convex Selain pada permukaan dia Yang ini, dia convert The light Dia menumpu okay, Yang ini divert the light Divert means Mencapah Okay, so this is the important concept of these two Okay, sometimes we call this converging lens Sometimes we call this diverging lens So, sifat dia Bentuk dia concave tapi sifat dia diverge Okay, so the diverge apa? The diverge, the light Okay, before we go how image is formed Okay, macam mana suatu image terhasil Okay, contohnya awak pakai spec Awak nampak image kat belakang tu Awak pakai teropong, awak nampak image dia Lebih besar ke, lebih kecil ke, terbalik ke Okay, kita kena berkenalan dengan lenses dulu lah Okay, so I'm going to focus on the convex lens first Okay, how convex lens is created Kita nak belajar Anatomy lah kita kata Anatomy of the lens dulu Okay, for convex lens First of all, all the lenses Are made from a sphere Satu bola sfera lah kita kata eh? Kaca sfera uh, Macam bola bowling tu tapi semua kaca Okay, so we have A sphere When we have a sphere, so macam biasa Okay, ini kita ambil principal axis Kita panggil garis principal Dan kat sini Pusat bulatan Okay, we call this Center of curvature or optical center So kalau cahaya lalu kat sini Dia akan undeviated Dia tak dibiaskan, tak dipantulkan Okay, so yang ini radius dia lah Macam ni Okay, so We're talking about convex lens right? Convex lens Okay, you ambil Identical sphere, satu lagi Letak kat sini So, sama juga kat sini Optical center Sebab kita kata tadi, lens is made from two surface One of that must be curved So kita nak belajar Ini kita panggil juga biconvex Dua-dua belah convex Okay, so ini radius dia juga sama So we take this part And we take this part Okay, so this is called convex lens Or biconvex Dua-dua belah cembung Okay, so ambil bahagian ni Dan bahagian ni Okay, then we have few more terms to learn So, I make it easy Yang penting, optical center Then, satu lagi we have F Okay, atau F besar Sama je This is focal point This is focal length Sebab tu kita ada kedai spec nama focus point kan Okay Okay, so what is this? Focal length for convex Is Where the light is Converge to So cahaya akan menumpu Kita dah belajar tadi Cahaya menumpu Tapi menumpu ke mana Bukan boleh ikut-ikut suka dia Nak menumpu ke mana So dia akan menumpu dekat F Focal point So focal point Is R over 2 Separuh daripada radius So radius sini jadi So focal point must be here Focal point must be here So kalau ini 10 cm Focal point 5 cm Okay so ini benda pertama kita ingat So again What is focal point So kalau you pernah Ambil gambar Ambil gambar portrait Dia pakai your phone Dia pakai DSR Yang boleh zoom tu Kita tengok Dekat sini ada gambar pokok Ada bukit pun semua Lepas tu ada seorang dekat sini 
orang. So you nak ambil photoshoot, you nak ambil gambar cantik. You zoom, you nampak dekat sini je clear. Kat belakang ni nampak blurry, blurry sikit kan? Blur. Kenapa? Sebab focal line kita pendek. So kita dapat gambar kat sini je. Gambar kat sini tak jelas. So cahaya ditumpukan kat situ. Okay, contoh juga orang yang... Katalah orang tu rabun jauh. Ha, ni mata ya. Kecelak sikit. So rabun jauh. So image sepatutnya orang nampak kat sini. Tapi dia nampak image tu kat sini. Sebab tu kita kata pemandangan kita kabur. So what happen? You put a lens. Okay, with certain types of lens. Dia ada dulu lah. Sebab tu awak pergi kedai spek. Buat spek kan. Awak masuk dalam bilik tu. Dia bagi pakai kaca. Hmm, jelas ke tak? Jelas ke tak? Tukar, tukar, tukar kaca. Sampai kita nampak image paling jelas tak blurry kan. So dia put lens kat sini. Kita pakai spek. So, yang tadi tu, objek kat sini, cahaya kita, mata kita dah kabur, dia fokus pergi kat situ. So, that's why kita nampak kabur. So, you put this one, so dia akan divert, convert. Okay, dia akan refract, so dia akan bawa pergi kat sini. So, kat sini, sampai dia dah refract, patah balik kat mata kita, kita nampak kat sini. So, nampak clearer lah. Okay, sama jugalah, setengah orang dia rambut dekat. Objek tu kat sini, dia nampak kat sini. So, we have to put... Certain lenses with certain focal line or focus point So dia akan hantar balik pergi ke tempat asal dia So dia panjangkan kita punya jarak fokus So kita nampak kat situ Okay so this focal point is very important when we use to draw a ray diagram Okay so itu je konsep dia dulu Yang sepanjang ni kita pakai principal axis and so on Okay now tajuk paling penting dalam 6.3 is How you draw the image form macam mana kita nak lukis image? Image tu kat mana? Okay, apa ciri-ciri image tu? Then, how to draw? Apa rules dia? Alright, so we're going to discuss on that part.